Thank you very much. So uh, we are Open Energy. We are also like Kiwi Power, a demand side aggregator um, of electrical loads to provide grid balancing services to the national grid. Uh, from also, it's namely uh, dynamic frequency response products to assist national grid deal with the increased volatility of the system over the coming years. Um, we use this uh, TSB grant to leverage on the success of our core product, dynamic demand, in aggregating certain electrical loads, such as uh, commercial heating and ventilation, air conditioning, industrial heating and water pumping loads to provide a dynamic frequency response service to National Grid. We wanted to leverage on that success to develop into a new asset type for us, which was commercial refrigeration. Um, using the, TS the draw of the TSB grant, we were able to draw a, uh, our delivery team of uh, Corel Controls, a global controls provider, AB Group, a refrigeration installation and design company, and used uh, Tesco as a, as a live testing environment and trial environment for the technology. So the challenge, uh, the challenge was in basically trying to align the product requirements for what is dynamic frequency response for National Grid, which is being able to switch an asset within two seconds, being able to hold the asset off uh, potentially for 30 minutes, and importantly, being able to track grid frequency accurately by aggregating low on an aggregate level. Yeah, the challenge is aligning those requirements with the normal operating profile of, of pack-based refrigeration system without compromising the primary function of that asset, which is cooling produce. Essentially, can we do this product without defrosting millions of pounds worth of peas, basically? Um, so that was the main challenge. And also the main challenge is, is when you're adhering to these parameters, there's actually quite a limited amount of thermal en energy in pack-based refrigeration systems when you go out for a, period, a certain period of time. The market opportunity for us is, is huge because about 4% of uh, total electrical consumption in the UK comes from commercial refrigeration systems. So if you're able to harness that shiftable consumption, there is a large amount of uh, stored energy to help the national grid deal with its uh, frequency issues. Um, and we think if we deployed this system within uh, five of the UK's largest retailers, we could amount for about 7% of the total requirement for frequency response in the UK, um, which is scheduled uh, forecast to be about 1.8 gig by this time next year. The project was sort of split into two parts. It was a uh, first three months developing and embedding our algorithm within the Corel pack controller and testing in uh, Corel's uh, state-of-the-art um, testing labs. And the second three months was trialing the site in test 10 uh, Tesco supermarkets. The trial was a uh, market success. Uh, we hit all the KPIs. We managed to harness the amount of energy we thought was going to be in the, each uh, supermarket and each pack-based system without compromising any of the refrigeration alarms, the energy performance of the whole system. Um, basically, the next steps for us are to begin to market the success of this trial to prove that we can actually deliver for dynamic frequency response from commercial refrigeration uh, to the wider industry and uh, look to actually collaborate uh, with people, more people in the refrigeration industry to understand more about how uh, we can access more energy deeper in the system and also to uh, basically exploit the huge amounts of data we now have on uh, refrigeration consumption and how we can utilise that to improve operations of refrigeration systems. Thank you very much.